Hi everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful day. I know I have so far. So what are we talking about tonight? I think that the sign behind me over here might give a little bit of indication as to what's going on. Donkey milk. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. I actually picked this up as a joke in Walmart thinking it would be funny to come on here and do a face mask made out of donkey milk. But then, as I always do, I started researching the benefits of donkey milk. And much to my amazement, <laughs> donkey milk is some pretty good stuff. Okay? The reason why it's not used as commonly in the United States is because they can't do mass milkings with it as they do with cows and goats. Okay, so these animals have to be literally hand milked. All right. So I've got a little bit of stuff here. I can give you some background information on it. And then I will go away, remove my makeup, come back, put the mask on for you all to see, then I'll go away while the mask sets and I'll come back the last few minutes of the mask and then remove it so you can see the after effect and then we'll do a wrap up, okay? So just bear with me while I give you just a little bit of information on this before I make myself look like Michael Myers, you know, from the scary Halloween movies that everybody gets such a kick out of seeing me wear. Okay. So, uh, it, it, donkey milk is the closest to mammal milk to compare to human milk and the biochemical composition. It is very rich in vitamins A, B1, B2, B6, D, C, and E. It's very high in vitamin C content. It also slows down the aging process. Minerals and trace elements such as calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, iron, zinc, and I don't know, some sort of a immune globins, globins, <laughs> also, okay. Uh, thanks to its rich composite, composition, it is an excellent moisturizer which is very effective as an anti-aging treatment and essential fatty acids which contain anti-aging regenerative, that brought me around, <laughs> and healing properties. Uh, the most famous of the great days of yore who used donkey milk, and I'm such a big trivia nut, I did not know this, Cleopatra. It is said in legend that there should be no less than 700 donkeys to provide the quantity of milk needed for her daily baths. And of course we all know that Cleopatra, the Queen of Egypt, was at one time reputed to be one of the greatest beauties of the world. So don't know if the donkey milk was it or if it was just a natural thing with her. But hey, I'm game. Uh, donkey milk was used until the early 20th century as a substitute for milk as well. More, recent, uh, more recently studies show that donkey milk could serve as an alternative to cow's milk for children with milk protein allergy. Now, I'm getting this information off the internet, of course. Um, it's from a website called donkeymilkbeauty.com. Uh, milk production of donkey is very rare in Europe and America, and of course the reason is simple. It's, it's because that uh, the milking has to be done by hand, and it has to be done six times a day in the presence of their foal, otherwise there's a failure of milk. So it, it's a very laborious process, and that's why it hasn't been messed with in the United States. However, there are other countries that do. And I found 
a company called El Grico. I believe, I, I hope I'm spelling that right. It's in the Netherlands. And uh, they also sell in the United States. So as soon as my discount coupon comes through, I'm going to order some because the shipping uh, from wherever it is here in the States that they're shipping it from, the shipping's costing me as much of the soap. But they do have all sorts of different types with different fragrances and additives. However, I am getting just the natural donkey milk soap. That's it. Just plain. I don't want any other additives. I just want to try the plain to see what it actually does for my skin. Uh, it has been, I mean, from what I'm reading, it can help with rosacea, psoriasis, acne, acne scarring, uh, wrinkles, age spots. I mean, from what they're saying on here that I'm reading, it, it literally can rejuvenate the aging process in the skin. So I'm going to give it a try. Excuse, hold on. <clears throat> also, I found another website called Aphrodite's USA. Dot com and once again uh, they have the donkey milk products but theirs is mixed in with conjunction uh, with olive oil but of course olive oil has great benefits for the skin as well there on their website they have um, more than just soap they actually have skin treatments uh, so I thought I might possibly order one of those they have a liquid cleanser and it sells for $19.99. And then they have a hand soap that sells for $2.99. I thought I might pick up one or two of those and compare the two together. And then the, they have an intense hydration lip balm for $6.99. And I'm interested in that because I really suffer with uh, chapped lips in the wintertime, something fierce. And I thought, well, that might be something that might be really nice to use. So we will move right on along. I will pause while I go and take the day's makeup off and then I will be back and I will show you how the mask goes on uh, and we'll see how it does together and then I'll, like I said, I'll let it sit <coughs> and relax for a few minutes and then I'll come back and give you the final. Okay, bear with me. Thank you. Okay, everybody. I'm back. Now, the gel mask on the back, let me take these off. Woo. Um, we're supposed to cleanse skin thoroughly and apply undertoner or serum. Or apply toner or serum undertoner. Okay, so what did I use? I used my alginist on my face, and then of course I used the alginist around my eyes. So that's what I did for a treatment. Now, uh, we're supposed to apply the mask to the face, carefully aligning holes for eyes and mouth, smooth out air pockets with fingers. We leave one for 10 or for 15 to 20 minutes, then remove the mask. Take the remaining essence and pat onto face. And then if you use it during the daytime, you should apply a sunscreen after each use. So let's get this show on the road. I'm sure you guys have got other things to do besides sit and watch me play with donkey milk masks. Oh boy, is this ever jelly. Woo! <coughs> Lay that there. Nothing happens. Okay. He is slippery. And true to form, this one has a backing. How many of these have I done that there has not been a backing? And I mean to tell you, this guy is slickery. Alright, so, let me get over here a little bit in my mirror. And this mask has ample room for my nose. A 
Boy, it is drippy. That's wonderful, though. Lots of product. Okay, now... There, my light kicked on. Okay. Now, of course, you all who have seen me before on our Facebook page, this little guy comes out. Why? To hold it in place nice and tight. So I get the most benefit out of the product. Okay. But it is tight and it does hurt my ears while it's on a little bit if I don't keep it pulled down. Okay. Yep. Oh, I got that one on there straight. Okay. All right, I'm in. Okay, let the timer begin, and I will be back very shortly to check in with you all and let you know how I've done, and let you see how I've done. Okay? Fabulous. All right, toodles, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> well, that was nice. Refreshing. All right, so we'll take this off now. Okay. That little cover is wonderful. Not only does it hold the mask in place, but it also keeps the mask moist so the air is not drawing it out um, prematurely while you are letting the product work. Okay, now we're supposed to take Massage the product into the skin. And a tremendous amount of product with this mask. And I did not even squeeze out the excess from the pack. And there was still more in the pack. Of course, it's much too soon to draw any conclusions as to whether this mask would have any long-term effects. Uh, when I was researching the back of the mask packet, the donkey milk is not one of the first ingredients. Of course, mostly what is in this is preservatives. Uh, but for $2.50 at your drugstore or big box store, for something to do for yourself, uh, a number one mask just make me feel good. <laughs> I mean, uh, I do have some very nice ones that do have some good properties uh, with them, but for the most part, it's just you know, going to a spa is so expensive and this is like a little mini spa day at home. Do your nails, give yourself a pedicure, do a mask on your face, maybe a mask in your hair, and you just lay back and relax for the day. So I think masks are a great thing. You're pampering yourself, okay? All right, so let's review this little guy. Uh, this is the Donkey Mil Milk Skin Gel Mask, and it is to nourish and restore. Um, of course, the main ingredient it says, it leads you to believe on the front, is that it's donkey milk. It is not. Way down in the list. Another ingredient on this was salmon egg extract, which I didn't even get into that because I was so dumbfounded by the donkey milk. I'll be honest with you. This uh, is made by the, I believe it's pronounced Sue. It's S-O-O space, and then A-E. 
and it says that it's simple skin care from the best of nature. And uh, this is, of course, a Korean company, but it is distributed through a cosmetic firm in New York. You know, for a fun night at home for yourself, I think it's a great product. I am, however, uh, really excited to try the ones that I'm looking at ordering as soon as my discount coupon comes from the other two companies that I mentioned. Um, and I will keep you updated on those and let you know how they do. I'm, I'm excited about them. Uh, my husband has a lot of skin issues uh, with being very sensitive to soaps and I'm curious to see how he does with the donkey milk bar soaps in the shower. So, and then of course the, the one liquid that I'm going to purchase, um, that also uh, is uh, a makeup remover is what it says on the packaging. So, and um, I could use another cleanser uh, in my routine. I, I do a two-step cleanse when I wash my face. I use my purity first and then I go and cleanse a second time and at that point I'm using something that will either hydrate or um, exfoliate, that type of thing. And so I was looking for another cleanser to add to the routine and I think this might fit in nicely as a second cleanse item. So that wraps it up for tonight and uh, yeah, it was a fun night spent with you all. I'm happy I'm di I did it. And uh, thank you all so much for viewing. If you don't mind, please, if you've enjoyed this video, thought it was a hoot and a holler, or even liked the information that I shared with you, please take a moment, go down below, and tap that little subscribe button. And I would appreciate it ever so much. And for all of my Facebook group, thank you all for viewing. Uh, it means so much to me that you all have stayed with me all this time. And if any of our YouTube viewers that are not familiar with where I started, I started first on Facebook. And our group there is called Sarah, the Makeup and Skin Care Junkie. So if you would like to be a member of that group and see what we do there, please, by all means, look us up on Facebook. Okay, thank you all so much. Have a wonderful evening, and of course, be blessed.